Welcome back guys. So here's how to make a repair to your receiver antennas. Uh, I will go ahead and say that if the length of your antenna is not long enough, it's best to just go ahead and replace it. If uh, your receiver uses these types of connectors on the ends, then uh, what I do, I just purchase these in packs of 20 and they, this pack of 20 will last forever. Uh, you can just go to eBay and search for like a free sky receiver antenna and uh, you'll find these in packs of 20. You can buy them individually but they're usually like a dollar each so that gets pretty expensive where it's cheaper the more you buy at a time. So anyway how to uh, repair it assuming you have enough length left. Well once it gets damaged you just want to clip off the bad part which I've already done here. Next you need to find the length of signal wire that you need exposed and uh, I'll say most receivers and transmitters operate on the uh, 2.4 gigahertz band. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to show you how we get this number, but I'm going to tell you the number anyway so you don't have to do this. Uh, but you can just go to your web browser and type in C, which is going to be the speed of light, divided by 2.4, which is the uh, you know, gigahertz that the receiver and transmitter operates on. And then we need the quarter wavelength of that, so that's why we divide it by 4 again. That will give us uh, 31.2 millimeters. So now I will just get my digital caliper and set this to 32.2 or 31.2 millimeters. Okay, just like that, 31.2. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off because I have it locked in. Now instead of butting up the end of this antenna to the end of my uh, digital caliper, I'm actually going to go a little bit further and there's a reason behind this and I'll show you once we get there. Taking it a little bit further, you can take a pen or something like that and just make a mark. I'm not, I'm just going to butt up my razor blade to these, this uh, other end and start making my cut. Okay, I've trimmed around this, uh, but if you try to pull this entire thing off it's going to be a little tough. So I'm going to make another cut right in the middle. Now with that second cut, I can try to pull this off. Okay, I pulled the first half off. Now I just need to get the second half off. And there we go, the jacket is off. Now I will just take these shielding wires and kind of push them in to make a little bubble on the end. Then uh, take some wire cutters and just cut around that. Now this whole shielding piece should come off, just like that. Take your wire cutters and uh, you'll see how it's kind of frayed on the end, so I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Okay now with it cleaned up and uh, ready to go, we'll come back to the digital caliper and this time I'm going to straighten this out as much as I can, you want this to be as straight as possible then line up this side I guess you can't see, line up this side right here and then with this side lined up we can see how it extends a little bit past that but I'm going to take this and cut right on that edge okay now with it cut you can see that we have the exact length that we need. And that does it guys. So there's your uh, receiver antenna repair. So thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.